Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are staying safe. This vlog as usual taken on another beautiful day. There are days when I don't get enough sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night and then can't get back. It happens sometimes. And if I keep lying on the bed, it becomes too boring. So on this day I got up and started preparing for breakfast. I don't remember who but someone had asked to show the kneading of rice roti dough in the stand mixer. and it's been long time since i have made rice rotis so hence thought of showing that and an egg curry infused with smoky flavor that can go well with any roti naan or even rice i have shown n number of times on making rice rotis you need roasted rice flour the brands that i normally use is double horse eastern or nirapara I love mint flavored black tea. That's dried mint leaves which is as equally flavorful as fresh. That's mamul dates filled biscuit. You need to use the same measuring cup for measuring the water needed for the dough. It's 1 or 1 and quarter cup more to every 1 cup flour. The reason for that extra quarter cup is depending upon the rice flour quality and you may even check the package measurements as well. Add salt and mix. When water starts boiling, add flour. mix and reduce the flame to low keep mixing for a minute and see that no flour is remaining without mixing turn off the flame now if you're manually kneading with your hands you will have to wait till it cools down a bit but having a stand mixer saves a lot of time transfer the hot dough to the mixer bowl and you can easily do the work you can see it's soft just a little more of water and kneading for 1 minute so that it's easily spread on the roti flat now and that's done bringing it together roll it apply some oil so that it doesn't stick and you'll need less oil while pressing
and that's done. Keep it covered or else it can go dry. This is my non-stick roti flattener. I still couldn't find any link online. This was bought from a shop in Kerala two years back. If you don't have this, you can use the one that has steel flat surface. Cover it tight with a plastic cover. Apply some oil and then the rotis come perfect. All over, keep it covered until time to cook. On this tawa, it's 4 in 1. At a time, either 4 or if size is bigger, 3 rotis can be cooked. Saves a lot of time and cooking gas. The pan should be on medium high heat. Once you place the rotis on the tawa, you can see white fumes coming out from it. After 2-3 seconds, turn to the other side. Then when you see small bubbles on the rotis, say after 30-40 to 40 seconds, turn again. Then finally, when the rotis puffs up, take them out. So this is how you cook to perfection. Usually my husband does this for me during Ramadan. He cooks perfectly. Since they all were sleeping, didn't want to wake him up just for this. Wipe the tawa every time you place the next set of rotis or else the powder on the tawa will burn and it can give the rotis a faded yellow shade here and there. And that was the final set. Since today I had some cleaning works, I had already prepared extra ghee rice last dinner. So there was leftover for today's lunch. I'm preparing the egg curry for breakfast and lunch so I get enough time for cleaning.
For the gravy, you will need two large onions. In fact, I took three, but only two was needed. That's a handful of garlic, say one whole bulb and a half more. So all together around 10 to 12 cloves. Chop roughly, you will be grinding it, so it's okay. Heat some oil or ghee, I'm using coconut oil. Fry the garlic till light brown. Then goes the sliced onion. Chop few green chilies. You won't be adding any other spicy flavor to this, so add green chilies accordingly. Add to the onion and saute till the onion is really soft. Now this is ready. Add to a blender. This is roasted coconut that you might know if you have watched my Ramadan Devan vlog of this year. I wanted to see how long it stay good when kept outside. I haven't kept this in the fridge and it's still got the fresh aroma. Do check the recipe for this, the link is given in the description box. Adding 2 tablespoons of this. Blend well and add to the pot. Adding some hot water to the blender and add to the pot. Again to the blender, add 100 grams fresh cream and some coconut powder, around 3 or 4 tablespoons. Instead of this, you can add 1 cup coconut milk or even 1 cup curd. Add to the onion blend. Add little more water if needed. Slit boiled eggs and add to the gravy. Add some chopped coriander leaves. Add some salt, boil this for a minute. Now for the smoky flavor, place a bowl and add a hot charcoal. Add some oil, cover immediately. Waiting for the egg curry to get infused, I unknowingly slept on the sofa for an hour and a half. My husband woke me up and he started preparing tea. I was in fact in half sleep and a bit tired of lack of sleep. Kids were still asleep, so we had our breakfast. Now instead of eggs, you can add paneer cubes and potatoes. I again slept for 2 hours and felt refreshed. Kids had already woke up by this time.
to give practice in max for arman i erase whatever work he had done in his textbook and make him do again They usually have food before class starts but today it was a bit late For money plants all I do is check the soil if it's dry only then I water I don't add any other fertilizers I guess they are growing well because they need the least care It was time for the class to end Rehan was ready for his badminton coaching These tiny ones were grown from orange seeds. It's good to see greenery in this desert. So I love to plant seeds and see them grow. After my cleaning Arman's classes were over so we both had food together Couple of weeks back I had mentioned I got my driving license so to get used to driving without fear or I would say to erase my stress from driving I drive every day for at least half an hour and my husband next to me to guide me i believe the real driving lesson starts once you get the license for dinner we were invited by our dear family friend roshan and shimon at the cheesecake factory It was a lovely meetup as well as very refreshing. This is the best starter, really cheesy, creamy and tasty. They had already ordered few dishes as a main course and everything tasted really good. And among that, our favorite was the Thai rice with chicken. As a dessert, we had classic cheesecake and pineapple cheesecake. Couldn't capture much of the cheesecake as we were busy chatting and taking photos. We, as well as kids, were having our thoughts to share. Me and Shimin had endless topics, and that was a lovely treat from them. Thank you so much, Shimin and Roshan. And that ends today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all with another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.